When Tiffany Graves says she became a lawyer to help people, those aren't just words for her. It's literally her life's purpose and passion. Her fight for equity and justice for the underserved began while she was in law school at the University of Virginia School of Law, where she was honored for logging the most pro bono hours of any graduating student. Part of the reason why I wanted to go to law school is because I really wanted to help people. Um, and a lot of people say that as the reason why they go to law school, but really and truly, that's why I went to law school. Immediately before going to, to law school, I worked as an academic counselor with an Upward Bound program. Um, and, you know, if you're not familiar with those programs, you know, you kind of serve as an, you know, a traveling guidance counselor for all intents and purposes to work with, you know, youth who are considered at risk, um, although I never considered the, the students I worked with, um, I never gave them that label, but nevertheless, um, working with them and seeing some of the issues that they faced at home and at school was really one of the things that prompted me um, to consider a career in public interest law. Um, and what I found in law school is how you can get the experiences with kind of helping people is through pro bono work. Her work of helping marginalized and low-income individuals continued to expand after marrying her husband James and moving to Mississippi. Tiffany worked with the Mississippi Center for Justice, led the Mississippi Volunteer Lawyers Project and the Mississippi Access to Justice Commission. I've known Tiffany for a number of years professionally. She has been active in pro bono work in Mississippi for several years and was formerly the director of the Mississippi Commission for Access to Justice and before that was the director of the Mississippi Volunteer Lawyers Project. So I had worked with her um, in the, when she was with those organizations helping connect our firm and people who wanted to do pro bono work with people who needed lawyers and her organizations always were very helpful with getting that to happen. Tiffany has received multiple awards and national recognitions for her commitment to pro bono and equalizing the civil justice system. In 2018, she was tapped by law firm Bradley Arant Boat and Cummings LLP as their first ever national pro bono counsel. So a pro bono counsel position is a fairly unique position at a law firm. Uh, and there are actually only now two law firms in Mississippi that even have that position. Uh, and the idea behind it is to have the full-time person who's working within the firm to try to get as many people as possible doing pro bono work. Understanding that a law firm is a business uh, and that you know, you're there to make profits, but you know, as lawyers we also have an obligation to give back to our communities as much as possible. Since Tiffany has joined us in this, in this capacity, we've had better partnerships with organizations in our communities that we weren't working with before. So we have offices in Birmingham and Nashville and Tampa and Houston and Dallas and Charlotte and Washington DC and several others in Alabama as well as Jackson. She has been able to reach out to groups that work in those communities that help all kinds of different people. We've seen the percentage of our lawyers who are doing that work increase since she's been here. Um, I don't have numbers for the fourth quarter of 2018, but in the first nine months of 2018, more than 47% of our lawyers did pro bono work, which is a great number. I mean, that's, that's almost half of our lawyers who were in that short time period providing legal services to somebody that needed help who might not have gotten it. And I think a lot of that is due to her. Attorney Graves is making a national impact. She serves on several national boards and is nationally recognized for her pro bono work. We were interviewing a, a law student who is at the same law school that Tiffany went to, which is not even in Mississippi, and this woman is a law student right now who obviously has not been there at the same time Tiffany was in school there, and she knew all about Tiffany. I mean, like, she's famous. And I think that that's because she really brings to this um, a real, a real interest in it and a real desire to do a good job at it that everybody can see and everybody wants to be a part of. Attorney Tiffany Graves, the 2019 Young, Gifted, and Empowered Leader of the Year.